it's currently one in the morning but you know when you like are doing a bunch of work and then you're just like energetic i don't know i've literally been doing homework since 8 30 this morning and i got all of it done and then i was like tomorrow's my day dedicated to like making content and i was like well i'm already kind of awake so like might as well make some content and so i am working with aleferic eden they sent me five pieces of clothing some super cute sweaters and then an adorable jacket and i'm going to show you three ways that i style all of the sweaters they gave me so let me show you the sweaters and then i'll show you the fits so i've been really into chunky funky out there sweaters that's been a huge trend for 2021 so far and i have been looking for a place to find some good ones and Afric Eden definitely has some amazing, super cool, unique, like never thought of before designs and sweaters. So this was the first one they sent me. It has these cool like rainbow stripes and then doodles all over them. So it's a little fun added detail on top of the stripes. This one's my favorite one. It's like a sunset basically. It's a fade from like blue to orange. And then there's a little cow on it and it's so cute, so original um this one's a good a little more simple compared to the other ones it's like zebra striped but it's orange zebra striped this one's also like doodles but they have cute little dinosaurs on it and it's super cute and green and like sage green is super in right now so i think this really goes hand in hand with that and then this one is like a bigger little dinosaur and he's filled in super cute and then finally this amazing like teddy bear jacket which i find funny that there's teddy bears on it because you would usually call this fabric like sherpa or like teddy bear material because it's what they use to make teddy bears so it's funny how they like took that name and turned it into like an, a literal thing so it's like teddy bear on teddy bear i'm gonna try on my first fits for this and then i will move on to my second and third one okay so this is fit number one I have taken Instagram pictures in this fit and go check that out on my Instagram at Let's See Silverstein. Um, this gives me like Bella Hadid vibes. I actually did like a TikTok video of um, like me like recreating a bunch of off duty model looks. And I took a lot of inspiration from one of these fits. So I have, I love a good layered look. I think that, you know, fits like the garment. Obviously, this sweater is like. A statement in itself and it's like the whole fit like i love this sweater but i think that a fit is more than just like one piece of clothing it's like what you pair with it and like the little details and stuff like that so i love like a good layering fit usually i'd add like jewelry and stuff like this but remember it's one o'clock so i'm not gonna do that right now but i have a white button down and i'm like i have the little bottom pieces of it hanging out and then I took the collar and I no oh, it's not done very well right now but I have it sticking out and then I paired like a plaid blazer over top of it then I have the beautiful chunky knit orange zebra print Elfric Eden sweater and I chose to go with some baggier jeans because I feel like that went more with the vibe of the Bella Hadid fit. And usually I would pair some like white sneakers with it, but you can't see my feet at the moment. So I would definitely wear this. I feel like this is like business casual, like the definition of business casual because you have the blazer, which is very businessy, and then the button down, which is very businessy, but then the jeans, the sneakers, and the fun pop of color, which is very like casual not really but you know what i mean um and i would rate this fit a 10 out of 10 because i am obsessed with this fit so moving on to the second fit for this sweater this is fit number two so i love mixing patterns i have a whole blog post about it please ignore my bed this is where all the fits that i'm wearing for this are going so it's not usually like that but um a great tip when trying to mix patterns is going with black and white and then a pop of color because everything matches with both black and white so like sometimes when you mix patterns they clash they don't all get together but if you you know don't put two out there and you can always mix patterns with other colors i love doing that all the time this is just a great tip for like if you're starting out with mixing patterns and don't really know what to do um 
So these are some clunky pants. They're not mine. They're my roommates. Thanks, Elizabeth. Um, I feel like the pattern on these kind of like match with the pattern on this. But it's not too out there since it's like black and white and then like white and orange. Um, but this is fit number two. This might be better than the other one. I could also add a leather jacket and then that helps to like match the fit even more. Because you have like the black from the pants onto the black of the jacket. So you have a little black on top and bottom. So it's like combining the whole fit together. Um, just, just for an extra added detail, I also could have kept the button down collar um, just for another added detail. Sh was trying to switch it up and figure out different fits and stuff like that. So this is fit number two. And there's two variations of it. If you don't have a leather jacket, you should invest in one because I find that when an outfit is dull, if you just add a leather jacket, it makes it not dull anymore. For the third and final fit with this sweater, I have this black long dress from South Bend Under and I really like that it's like a turtleneck because then you had the same thing for the last fit like you had the black leather jacket on the top and the black detail on the bottom well now you have like the black skirt and then like the black turtleneck so it goes like hand in hand um I think this is a great way of like spicing up a plainer more a more plain dress you can always also put a bra over top of the dress and then tuck the sweater in so you have like a cropped moment too i just like it more oversized i like like thinking of new things to do with like garments of clothing because then you have like more use for it it's more versatile and it's more worth your money and then if you find new ways you're not going to just throw out a piece of clothing because you found a new way to wear it so it's more sustainable this would probably be my least favorite if I were to rank all the fits, then it would probably go the second one, then the first one, then this one. But I all, I, that doesn't mean I still, I still like all of them. Okay, so this is the second sweater, the cute little dinosaur one. So this is my first fit, and I have the cool darker green, and I feel like that really goes well with this green, like they kind of look the same. Um... And you can leave it like this if you want to like go for a more simple look obviously like again the sweater makes the whole fit but i like to add some extra detail and i've worn it with this green or blazer the trench coat over top and then you have like a full monochrome green fit, but they're all different greens, which I really enjoy. Um, I think it's a super fun added detail and it really just like immediately spices up the fit. This is my second technique with like mixing patterns is to stay in the same color range because the different patterns might like clash but the colors don't clash so it's not too in your face and it actually kind of works perfectly so i have the dinosaur sweater again and then i added this fun very like beachy leaf skirt um i keep trying to like i probably wear this a little more cropped so you could show off the mixing patterns but i think it's super fun and out there and then for a little extra added detail you know me. We have an extra like turquoise green fur lined coat to go over top and that might be a little too much. If I were to wear this, I might wear, actually, I don't know. I kind of vibe with it. Oh, I really vibe with it. I love this. I would totally wear this, but if you wanted to like dye it down, I would say I have a black leather skirt, a tennis skirt, just like staying in the because like it's like darker like i feel like if you put white it would pop out there and it would clash like white goes with everything but there's certain fits where i'm like white looks better here and black looks better here and i feel like this would be one where like a black with their skirt or a black tennis skirt would look great but i'm loving 
this. Okay, I know I do a lot of monochrome, but that's like one of my favorite trends. I think it immediately just like makes the fit super cool. Um, so for this last fit, this is kind of the same vibe that I went for with the last fit of the first sweater, where I just paired the sweater over a dress. This is this green dress I have, and it's like collared, so it really goes well with the like that trend, like what I did with the first sweater. And you can see the collar coming out from underneath the sweater, and then you can see too if you want the sorry the it coming out from the sleeves and then you basically are just using it as like a skirt but then i love how you can see it from like the wrist and the collar because like i said that's like tying the whole fit together because if you have you know aspects of the fit on different pieces of the fit to pull the whole thing together from top to bottom i would definitely say i rate the second one my favorite the first one my second favorite and this one my least favorite but i still like this one okay so this is sweater three yes and i know that this is probably the most colorful of all sweaters but i feel like since they're like darker variations of the color itself like it's like a darker red a darker blue and not as bright orange it's a bright yellow but you know what i mean like it's like and then the black doodles that it just gives me like darker vibes even though it's like more colorful so i just took that vibe and like ran with it so I added a black little tennis skirt and then some black platform boots and some pigtails to like make it a little more fun and girly. I love how like the sweater's flowy and then the skirt is flowy. I know a lot of people say you should pair like flowy with tight, but I like the like flowy and the flowy. Plus you can then tuck it into the skirt too and make it more like cropped and then longer in the back. I love platform boots. Platform shoes are like my latest obsession. I want a pair of like Bratz shoes, you know? Okay, for outfit two. So I like to wear things like not how you're supposed to wear them. So like, for example, it's like a bigger trend right now. Not really. I've seen Sarah M. Tmet. I don't know how you say her name, but I think that's how. Um, Or Sarah Tmet. I don't know. Uh, wear like bras as like shirts and I do that all the time and like just like longer sweaters as dresses with like nothing underneath them because like why not so that's kind of what I went for with this fit so it's not my favorite I wish that you could see like maybe I take a belt and cinch this in and then keep this flowy but I don't have a belt at the moment it's not very like form fitting obviously in the slightest so it's not that flattering so i feel like if i added a belt here and then had this baggy you could like really see anyways so i love this like schoolgirl cardigan i always wear it as a dress with a bra underneath it i think it's super cute so i definitely like the like red and red together and then i took the little black doodles and i added this hat with it i think usually it's supposed to go like this but i don't like it like that i like it like this so I wear it like this. Um, and yeah. You could also, like, if you don't like doing that, wear biker, sh biker shorts. Technically, I'm still wearing the skirt from the last fit, but I'm covering it. And then I think it was some, like, really tall socks and some tall boots. This would look super cute, too. And then it would, like, be a little more conventional. So I have some red pants to go with the red line. I wish I had, like, yellow pants. Or orange pants i literally think fun fact when i was like a kid in elementary school i had this goal to find like every color of the rainbow pants and then when i made it through that i just kept going for like funkier pants i had like bubble gum pants bubble pants rainbow pants i had a bunch of colors and so then i got rid of them because obviously i didn't fit in them anymore and now it's funny because like fast forward and I'm 17 years old, I'm not elementary school, I'm not 7 years old anymore. And I'm like looking for every color of the rainbow pants again. But I wish I had yellow or orange because I feel like the bright blue kind of brightens this fit up. So if I had like one of the brighter colors from this sweater onto my pants, like that would brighten the fit up so much more. But the red is still super cool. I actually really enjoyed this fit. If I was ranking the fits I made with this sweater, this would probably be first, and then the first one would be second, and then the second one would be third. 
I feel like if the third one, like I had the belt and the boots on, I would have liked it a little bit more, but I still would agree with this ranking. But I actually don't have any belts in California, so it's not like I could have followed through with it even if I tried. Okay, so you know when you think of an outfit in your head and you're like worried it's not gonna like look the way on, like how you had it planned in your head? Well, I had planned out this outfit when I knew I was getting this sweater. I, yeah, so when I was planning out this outfit in my head, I was really hoping it was gonna work out because it was like, it was a little out there and this is exactly how I wanted it to work out. So this is the cowboy pants. I took the little cow from the sweater, pulled it right into the pants and it works because like the cow is lower on the sweater so it like meets up well with the pants because it's like closer to each other. And then the black and white with the pop of color, always a good idea when trying to mix patterns. And I'm obsessed with this outfit. I also paired it with white. I took a picture with it, I'll insert that here. But I also paired it with white cowboy boots, which I thought was genius because then you have the cow, the white cowboy or white cow. Yeah, so. This is like my favorite fit out of all of the fits and on to outfit two. Okay, this is fit number two. I feel like I've been super out there with all these fits. So I wanted to like dim it down a little and wear a, a fit that I feel like like more people would probably wear. Um, so I just paired the sweater again with some white super baggy jeans. Like I said earlier, I like the like flowy on flowy look. So I like that there's like the flow of these jeans with the flow of the sweater. So it's like a baggier streetwear fit. And then I added this bucket hat again because this is like a blue sky. So I like the blue and the blue, even though they're different blues. But I still thought it was fun. It's like an extra pop of color, but then it goes hand in hand with the blues. So it's like not a bad extra pop of color. And then that tied in the like white from the pants and the white from the clouds. So I thought that really worked well together. Final fit for this sweater. I just paired these super like shiny <laughs> blue pants with it. Like I said with the hat. I can even wear the hat with this one, but like I said with the hat. Um like it's different blues but I feel like they go still because they're still in the same you know, they're the same color. They're just different shades of it. Um but I grabbed these hats. I love these fuzzy bucket hats. This one I feel like looks cool it dims it down and then it has like the black from the cow into the back of the hat and then this is like the blue one to add yet another blue to the fit i honestly would probably go with the black one to like dim it down a little and i would wear a black leather jacket too if i wanted to add any jacket but honestly i feel like the sweater is the most out there that like you don't really have to pair much with it for it to be like amazing like i love the tiny details and adding tiny details to a fit to make it even better but like i feel like this one you don't like even have to do that so i'm actually going to pair only one fit with the last item because it's a jacket so like you can really wear it with anything because it's just like a winter coat but i'm going to pick out one fit and then i'll show you for rankings i forgot of the last sweater it would go the first outfit is first the third outfit is second and the second outfit is third this is the jacket the teddy jacket so the way that i paired it was with this it's a brown tight dress and then I put this brown t-shirt over it. The brown t-shirt has the brown of the teddy and the brown of the dress in it. So I thought this was paired really well. I've worn this fit before but I wore it with a leather jacket. But I'm loving it with this teddy. I think it's like super fun because this isn't really like a texture but it's like a graphic and it's very different from the texture or not texture. What am I thinking of? Pattern? But it's very different from the pattern on this, so I thought it was like super fun. And you could literally wear this jacket so many different ways. So that's why I'm only doing one outfit with it because it's like a winter coat, so like you can wear it with whatever. But thank you so much, Alfrick Eden, for sending me these. I am literally going to keep these like items for the rest of my life. These are things that like even if they go out of trend, I think I would still keep them in my closet forever because they're so like out there in statement pieces that like they're just so amazing and different and you just have to keep them forever so thank you so much for sending me them follow me on my socials they're all linked down below and i hope you enjoyed love you bye